Let's take a look at programming with the ProtoTrack SLX control now. From the main menu, you'll press the program button. You can enter in a program name if you have a keyboard hooked up through the USB slot. You can do that uh, relatively easily. Uh, if you don't have the keyboard hooked up, whenever you see a question mark next to the help, you press that button, something happens. In this particular case, a keyboard pops up for you. Using your arrow keys, you can change the letters that you want, enter in what you want the program to be named, press end when you're ready to go. Event comments, if you want to put comments uh, at certain steps, remember to mic this particular shoulder when it's done, for instance, you can say yes to event comments and then it'll ask you to put an event comment whenever you want. But in our particular case, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go to the beginning. And when we go to the beginning, it shows us what we can do in program mode. You can do a position move. So if you need to move a tool around the workpiece to avoid uh, hitting something, you can do that with that button. Drill, bore, turn, arc. Uh, you can do a cycle, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Cutting inside and outside threads. Uh, repeat steps. Groove and tapping. So those are the things that you can program with the control in program mode. And if we look at this particular blueprint that we want to do, we're going to do all of this in the cycle mode. And I'll show you how we'll do that right now. Pressing the cycle button, it'll ask us where do you want to start. And in this particular case, it depends on where you want to have your 0, 0 set for your X and your Z. I'm going to say our 0 is here. And uh, so that's where we're going to start off. I can hit zero, enter zero, or sorry, zero set, zero set. Or if I just hit set, set, it assumes zero and uh, saves me a key press here and there. Now, again, whenever you see a question mark next to the help, press this. You can either change uh, the depth of pass to number of passes or keep the depth of pass um, as is. So when you're removing material, do you want to tell the control, say, take this many passes to remove the material or if you want to say, I want to take off 100 thou per pass, you can leave it as depth of pass, which is what it will do. So I'm going to say, no, don't change this. And I'm going to say, I want to take off 100 thou per pass. And where are we approaching? Are we approaching along the X axis or the Z? In this particular case, it is in fact the Z. Punch Z. Uh, RPM or surface feet per minute, incremental set for RPM, absolute set for surface feet per minute. We'll say 500 RPM, incremental set. And what kind of a feed uh, do you want to input, inches per minute or inches per revolution? Uh, again, I'll just say five inches per, per minute, and that again is incremental set. Tool number one, that's fine, that's already put in there for us. Finishing cut, let's say we want to leave 100, uh, 10 thou for a finishing cut. And uh, for a finishing pass, we'll bump up the RPM to say 750. Again, incremental set for that. And our inches per minute will slow down, get a nicer finish, say 3.5 incremental set. So in, um, 3.5 inches per minute. I can use a different finishing tool if I want to. Instead of the tool number one, I can say a finishing tool will be in tool number two, three, five, 10, 15, 50, whatever the case is. But I'll just say we're going to stick with tool number one. Now from here, it's going to say, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a turn or do we want to do an arc? And as you can see from this drawing, all we have are turns. So we're going to turn this particular uh, part of it first. We press turn. It's going to say, where does X and Z end off? X, we're talking about diameters here. So X is going to end off at half an inch. And Z is going to go in a quarter inch. Now whenever you go into the material, that's always going to be a negative number. So we're going to say half an inch on X and Z is a quarter inch negative going into the material. And it's, are we going to have a chamfer or a radius? We're not. So we're just going to hit either set button to go on to the next step. Again, we're going to turn and we're going to do this leg right here. X remains at half an inch. Z goes back a half an inch as well and that's going to be negative. So 0.5 set, 0.5 negative, no chamfer, no radius, on to the next step. Next step is this one here and at the end of this step we're going to have a chamfer which is 0 0.036. So we're going to punch this in and that is going out to a diameter of 
two five on x, but z remains at half an inch. So 1.25 and half an inch negative on the z, and we said that the chamfer that I had was 0 0.036, so we punch in 0 0.036, and here it says absolute set for chamfer, incremental set for connecting radius. It says Conrad, Conrad simply stands for connecting radius. Conrad, connecting radius. So chamfer is absolute set, absolute set. Turn. Now we're going to put in this leg here. Again, X is still at the one and a quarter inch, but Z moves back an additional one and a half inches, add it to the half inch right here, and we have overall two inches on the Z. So 1.25 and negative two inches on the Z. There's no shaft or no radius here. I'm just gonna hit set. Now, are we programming it properly? Are we in the right path? Are my pluses and negatives, are they correct? Well, luckily we have this button here that says look. Hit that, it'll tell us what we've programmed so far. And take a look at this. Take a look at this. We're on the right path. That's great, let's keep going. Another turn, we're going to put in this leg right here, x goes to one and a half inches, z remains at two inches. No chamfer, no radius. Turn again. Now we'll do this leg right here. This time we do have a radius of 0 0.03. And x will go up to the two inches, z will go an additional quarter inch uh, past the two inches, so 2.25 inches negative on the Z. So two inches a diameter and negative 2.25 inches on the Z. And there is a radius of 0 0.03, incremental set for connecting radius. Do another turn. We'll put this point in here and that again is going to be two inches diameter and the Z moves back the full three inches. Negative three, no shaft for no radius. Now let's say for instance our uh, block that we're cutting this from is just a little bit larger than two inches. So let's say it's 2.2 inches that we have to um, take this shape from. So I'm going to put in one more leg right here, 2.2 inches on the X and the Z will remain the negative three inches. I'll show you why I'm doing that in just a second. So cycle turn, sorry, 2.2 inches and 3 inches negative on the Z. No chamfer, no radius. Take a look. So now we've put in this little leg. I'm going to say that our bar stock is 2.2 inches. So that's going to be that last little leg to get us to the 2.2 inches. Now I'm going to do a position move, move that tool from where we finished cutting back to zero. And what I'll do is X will end off uh, back over here, uh, still at 2.2 inches diameter, and Z will be at zero. Just to show you what I mean, 2.2, uh, Z goes back to zero. When we take a look, here is what I just put in there. So this dashed line means it's a, a position move, not a cutting move. These are all cuts that we're doing here. And uh, so we're giving it essentially the size of the bar stock. So I can do one more position move to close off that loop, or I can just say end cycle. And it'll say, whoa, cycle's not closed. But if you say yes, I'll close it for you. All right, yes. What does that mean? It just means it's put into this dashed line, saving us a couple of keystrokes along the way. So now what you see here is the size of the bar stock and the shape that we want to cut. Once the computer knows that, it knows exactly what it needs to do. If we need to change anything, this turns purple, this turns purple, showing us which steps we're looking at. So if we need to change, for instance, this step, I just press a look button at this point, takes us back to that step number six, we can make any changes that we want. But aside from that, that's exactly the shape that we want. We have the size of the bar stock, we're good to go. And that's how you program with the track SLX control.